Hey guys and welcome back. So I'm here again with my Mini Cooper R53. Today is kind of just a bit of a sorting out day, I guess. Um, I've literally just spent an absolute age just trying to get the car off the floor, which is a real pain in the backside to get it up, purely because it is so low. And then of course it's on 16s, not 17s, so it's even lower. And I have no jacks to get under literally either side, front or back jacking point. So I've finally just got that done up. Uh, anyway, yeah, so today my job is to, I've got it up on axle stands, I've taken all the wheels off. I'm going to literally wire brush the whole underside of the car. Uh, I'm also gonna clear out all the arches. I've got to refit some new brake lines as well. I'm gonna repaint all the calipers. The rear calipers actually haven't been painted. They were replaced not that long ago. I say not that long ago, probably about a year ago. So I'm gonna repaint the calipers red today. Just gonna yeah, clear all of this up, um, wire brush everything, wire brush the whole underside. I have my wire brush and then I've got some, yeah, clear wax oil that I'm gonna put underneath just to seal the car. It's something I've been meaning to do for ages, but we haven't had the weather to do it. So now that I've got a couple of days that I can just leave this on axle stands and just get everything done that I need to under the car. And then I can go back to sort of slightly more mechanical stuff on the front end. So yeah, so that's kind of my job for today. Um, I'm gonna start with just wire brushing everything off that I can get access to, and then I'm gonna rinse the whole underside down, let it completely bone dry. And then I'm gonna go and put my wax oil on underneath all the bits that are needed to be done. Yeah, let's get started on that and make the most of this lovely weather. It's absolutely boiling hot, but it's nice. I might actually get a tan or a t-shirt tan from this, who knows? Yeah, let's get this done. Absolutely not the most flattering angle, I have to say. Oh, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> there is so much under here that needs sorting out. Um, actually, it's not actually that bad. Fuel tanks aren't terrible. Put some nice new like hangers on them or something. I mean, but like I said, the car itself isn't, sorry for the dodgy angles, it's a bit difficult trying to get some kind of half decent angles. You might be a bit upside down. Yeah, it's not actually terrible. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty decent underneath. It's, um, yeah, it's, ow, fuck, that's my head. It's pretty decent underneath. It's not too terrible. There is a, I'm finding a few stones from when I, Put it in the gravel at Bedford. Don't ask how I put it in the gravel at Bedford. I, I manage that of all the places, yeah. There's some Bedford gravel still. Yeah, I mean, the, I'd love to be able to get the subframe off and redo all of that. Just put new control arms on again or just grease them up. Put some upper control arms on. I'm gonna do the suspension as well. I need new suspension, I know about that. Potentially do the R56 aluminium upgrade on the trailing arms. What else is there? When you get under, you're like, oh my god, there's so much I could do. So, yeah, I need to put some new exhaust hangers on as well because they're starting to go again. So yeah, there's definitely a few jobs for me to do under here, which is why I wanted to get the car up on axle stand so I could have a proper look to see what needed doing. So I'm going to start scrubbing away now at everything I can see and hopefully just touch it all up a bit. Right, so I've now fully scrubbed the underside, so I've wire brushed it all down, and I've got as much of the debris off as possible. Actually, it wasn't that bad. It's only really, probably mainly just the fuel tank hangers, and maybe like the rear control arms. Not the new ones I put on, but the other ones are a bit naff. But it actually wasn't too bad. Um, obviously, a lot of it is mostly just surface rust that I've taken off, which is kind of inevitable, really. And then, in terms of the rest of it, if I can turn that camera upside down, yeah, I said most of it was really kind of like the um, 
fuel tank hangers. But the rest of it wasn't, actually it wasn't too bad. So that's always good. So it's nice to know you haven't got a total rust bucket for a car. Um, I find that a really important thing. When I go look to buy cars, I make sure there's absolutely minimal amount of rust under it. I can't stand rusty cars. I just feel like it's just a world of an abyss of, I don't know, trouble. So I don't do it. Anyway, right. I have jet wash out. I'm absolutely covered. I might jet wash myself down at this rate because it's all over my face, hands everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the jet wash out. I'm probably just going to jet wash the whole underside of the car now. Try and get the worst of it off and then let it dry. And then hopefully I should be able to catch the next couple of hours of uh, sunshine. Or if not, I might have to come back to this tomorrow. I don't know. Just sort of see how much I can get on with today. And now we wait for it to dry. Gonna go get a cup of tea, I think. So whilst I'm waiting for the under of the car to dry, I thought I'd multitask and make a start on trying to get the paint off of the front calipers, which is not fun. It is not fun at all. I don't have a fancy drill with a wire brush on the end to get that all off, which would literally probably take about two seconds with a wire brush and drill. And I've already tried to wire brush the top off, but I'm having to now sandpaper it. <laughs> I've got that far. Yeah, not enjoying this bit whatsoever, but it will be worth it when it's all tidy and it will look super duper smart with freshly new painted calipers throughout. So this is a pure labour of love right now, but it'll be worth it. And it's nice weather, so I'd rather be sitting outdoors than sitting inside for four days, bored out of my nut. <laughs> So yeah, a few more bits, a couple more hours and make the most of it. Oh, my sandpaper's falling apart. So I'm back again, it is day two and I'm gonna wax all the underneath today because it didn't dry last night and I need it to be bone dry underneath before I can put any kind of wax oil on. So I'm gonna do that now. And then yesterday I actually managed to find a drill in the shed with a wire brush attachment. So I kind of made a start on getting the paint off of the calipers yesterday, which is a lot easier with a wire brush, but it's still just as time consuming and hard to get it off. And then I'm gonna try and change that brake line as well today. Well, both of them, both front ones. So that's kind of like today's plan is to just get those last bits sorted out. It's a lovely day again, which is brilliant and I cannot see. I'm probably gonna get a really horrible tan again. Hopefully not as dirty either, because yesterday I was filthy, <laughs> but it's cars, what can you do? Yeah, so I'm just gonna get my wax oil together. I don't have a spray gun because I'm not that cool. So I've just got the old fashioned pot with a brush. I'm just gonna brush it on underneath. It might take me a while, but job done. And then that'll be it. Ah, more Bedford gravel. Gonna start collecting these as a lot of memorabilia. Yeah, I've done most of the car already. Um, again, really unflattering angle. So I've done most of the car already. I've already done all the back part, all the subframe, the front subframe, that side behind the camera. So I'm now just doing the driver's side. Again, it's not too bad. Obviously, the rust kind of ox oxidised a little bit overnight. Obviously, just where I've taken the surface rust off, so definitely needed sealing again. Um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Obviously, apart from like the exhaust hangery bits are a bit naff, but again, not that bad. I like they say, presentation is the cure. Uh, 
and I've come to realise that my left arm really isn't very strong at all. That's that one. There. Just trying to not get it on any plastic. So like the fuel tank is plastic, just trying to not get it on on there. Just only really getting it on any of the metal components. So you don't get it on the exhaust heat shield. I smell of burning otherwise for the next six months. I think that's kind of it. Under seal is all done. It is finished. I am probably nowhere near as dirty as yesterday, but I still managed to get oil absolutely everywhere and just rolling around the floor even including my mat my mat is just covered in oil now but i will show you what is done so obviously i covered up my brake so i didn't drop with it anywhere but as long as you use it quite sort of sparingly it doesn't really go anywhere to be honest fuel hangers and then oh if you can kind of see so this has all been done now all the underside um obviously the vacuum hoses are Try to do as much of the seal as well under here, as much of the seals as I possibly could. The front subframe, um, yeah, so just enough that it should hopefully stay sealed. Yeah, so just enough that it's with the worst of it sealed anyway. Um, you know, it's not like I said, it wasn't actually that bad, but I just I've wanted to do it for a long time just because. It sits outside a lot, I don't have a garage for it, so it sits outside a lot, so I just want to make sure it was nicely sealed and that I've had a proper look. I like have a look underneath it, just checking for any potential problems. Um, I don't only see like ball joints and stuff, they looked a bit me. They're all right, the bushes are fine, but they just look old now and I kind of think, mm, I might just start replacing stuff like that. So yeah, something that probably only takes about five minutes has probably turned into a miss massive job because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to start doing more stuff now. Yeah, I'm going to sit down for five minutes, have a cup of tea and then um, I'm going to start cracking on with replacing those front brake lines because I really need to do that today and I want to change them before I repaint those front calipers so I don't really want to be taking off brake fluid all over my freshly painted front calipers that would be a silly idea because I'll take the paint off so yeah, cup of tea, enjoy the sun for five minutes and then I will get cracking with the rest of it hmm. oh, cup of tea so the next job is to replace the brake lines because I want to get it done today, I don't want to have to come back to it another day. So first job is to undo the reservoir so there's no pressure and obviously make sure there is enough brake fluid in it. I'm just going to put that, mm, preferably not on the paint somewhere, I've just got the needs corner. Uh, it's got plenty of fluid in it. Cool. And then uh, this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm replacing it again with some braided lines. These are hell lines. They're the same ones I've got on there, apart from those ones are blue, but they've sort of faded a bit and a bit dirty now. So I'm going to put some nice new red ones. These are for the R56 caliper. And then I use Mottle RBF 600. You can get 660, um, but this has got uh, I think it's got a higher wet boiling point, which is why I chose it. So I use 600 RBF. So I've just got it just in case because I'm probably going to have to top it up because what I'm going to need to do is disconnect that line there. So you should be able to screw it, lift it up, drop that out. And then I can take this off now, actually I'm done with oiling the car. Um, and then, yeah, I've got to do that line here, which as you can see has been leaking since that's all come off. I keep catching the wires on that. Um, yeah, so we've got to undo that line, undo that line, and then drop it out. And then also, we're gonna have to bleed the brakes afterwards. So yeah, should be good fun. The caliper lines, they're gonna be no good. I think we're gonna have to cut them because the top screw bolt is totally knackered. So I'm probably have to cut that and just fit whole new brake lines all the way through. Not a problem, don't mind, rather do it anyway. Um, yeah, caliper paint, I'll do a follow up on that one once I've kind of got the weather done and out of the way. 
Okay, so I've masked up the rear caliper. I'm not going to do the front ones because I need to do so much more to get that paint off. So I'm not going to touch those. But I'm going to paint the rears for now because they're pretty much good to go. So I've masked up everything possible, all my brake uh, discs. Um, kind of anywhere with a pad might just get a little bit, just the little seals as well. Obviously the bleed nipple, um, any rubber parts as well. So yeah, just sort of try to mask up as much as possible. And then obviously I've taken the brake retaining clip off too yeah let's see how this caliper paint goes i mean i have purchased e-tech caliper paint in red it was recommended by a few people it comes with a pot of caliper paint and then what else did it come with all oh, right yeah it also came with a brake and clutch cleaner uh, cleaner and then a brush as well apparently the brush isn't that great but never mind i have spares if I need to. So let's see how this caliper paint gets on. Could go horribly wrong. And then I have to strip it back down again. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. Ooh, this looks super duper red. That is some serious red caliper paint there. It's gonna be glowing with that color. It looks so fresh. Right, let's get to it. One coat of paint is on. Let's let that fully dry. It needs about half an hour to dry, and it's getting quite late. It's probably not the best time to start painting calipers, but I was bored and I'm making the most of lighter evenings. So I thought I'd come out and just try and get my rear calipers painted at least. It's got to wait half an hour now. Probably actually another 10 minutes. It takes me about 15 minutes to paint a side. So I'll wait 15 minutes and then I'll put a second coat on this caliper. Okay, so we are back again. It is day three now. Cannot believe it. It's actually day three already. I've spent three days on this car. Anyway, brake calipers. So last night I stayed up a bit later and just carried on painting them. I just didn't really have anything else to do. So I thought I might as well just stay out and paint them. Probably wouldn't paint them that late in the day though. But anyway, that is kind of like the sort of finished product. So I'm just going to take all of this off as you can see um, and see what the final result looks like red painted caliper it looks good from a distance don't look too close I'm not a Picasso so that is all nicely tidied up yeah pretty sure that it was definitely a job that was that needed doing so now I'm gonna leave the video for there I'm not gonna do the front caliper I've still got to get all that paint off yet and I've still got to sort out that brake line. I've used a flare nut um, spanner on the actual brake line to get the to drop the bottom nail, but it's just totally gone. So I don't really want to twist that. So I might just end up just cutting it and just going to fit new brake lines. I'm going to order some new copper pipe and some flare flaring tools and all those other bits to put some new brake lines. I'm going to do the front. The rears have already been replaced. So I'm just going to replace the two front brake lines, put some new hoses in, repaint the front calipers and just do a proper full sort of tidy up on it. And then we should kind of be nearing, I've got a few other jobs I still need to do yet, so I can now focus more on the mechanical side of things that I'm going to do. And then I'm just sort of trying to do bits as we go along and not rush into everything, just in case we're in this lockdown for like the next six months. This just kind of keeps me busy. Yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys decide to have three or four days off spare, um, yeah, by all means, make a start and underseal your car and potentially paint your calipers. But if you already have painted calipers, I wish you luck because this is a pain in the backside to get the paint off. But yeah, anyway, see you guys soon and take care.